This is Scott with Hawaii Jet Boat Adventures. Welcome to episode 19. All right, we all want to get down to the water and get into the water as soon as possible. And this is where a lot of errors happen. At least for me, it did until I came up with a plan. I worked at this and worked at this trying to develop something that would allow me to have some sort of organizational pattern to get myself into the boat and on the water as fast as possible. So let's get started. The first things you need to do, prep the boat in a staging area or a parking stall and not in line at the ramp. Here's a picture of me at one of the ramps. This is where I did all my preparation. These are the things that you've got to prep for. These are the things you want to have ready to go when you launch the boat. Engine running, your depth finder in place, your radio on, and most important, you got to have that engine started. Also, carpets, fenders. Remember to put the drain plugs in and the clean out plug. Last but not least, remember that there's our transom straps. So tip one, stow everything you bring on board. Bring it on board in the staging area and put it somewhere where it's stowed, not stuck on the deck and rolling around or on the seat stow it we have lots of storage room in our yamahas there's no doubt about it they have tremendous amount of storage All right, tip number two. This is probably the most important one. This is how I get the boat off the trailer once I've backed the trailer into the water. I use a series of lines, a stern line and a, and a mid cleat line connected to the boat and also connected up to the truck so that when I back the trailer into the water, I can grab these two lines and then pull the boat from the trailer along the dock and connect it with my mid cleat line to the farthest away cleat so that I can allow other boaters to get in. So now I'm ready to back in. I have my bimini down. Most of the time I leave my bimini down whether I'm, whether I'm coming in or going out, unless it's raining. You can see the little knot there that holds my mid cleat line to the stern line. So when I jump back up on the dock and walk the boat off, I can just unknot that line and use the stern line and the uh, mid cleat line to pull the boat along the edge. Note the trailer fender is just barely sticking out of the water. Over the years, I've found that that works best for both unloading and loading. Using a mid cleat to tie off is really simple. It saves a lot of time. It's just one line, and when you use it, it doesn't allow the bow to swing out nor the stern. I use this horse collar one that's uh, compressed air. And uh, by the way, they do work. I fell off the boat unexpectedly and it dissolved in a few seconds and poof. All right, now you can release the mid cleat, put it into reverse and back out and go enjoy the day.
All right, so tip number three, before you come in, this is important, before you come in, get everything ready. Don't show up at the dock, at the ramp, trying to scramble around, trying to get everything done that you should have done 15 minutes earlier. Get it done early. I have a checklist when I'm on the boat or who's ever driving or whatever so people can see what they need to take care of, including me, the pilot. I've got them in multiple places. I also turn off all the electrics when I'm coming in. Can't stand to hear alarms or radios when I'm going in and I need to hear what's going on around me and maybe even hear another boater who may be having some problems and is screaming at you. You just don't know. So it's, it's good to have uh, uh, everything turned off. Slow is pro. Don't come in any faster than you're willing to hit that pier or jetty with your boat. Eagle eyes who've been watching this video will note on my port side, bow side, um, some damage. Hello. Always have plan B in mind if you're going in and it's very windy. I, in Hawaii, you can get turned around inside the ramp area without even, with just a little bit of wind, it can turn you around. And that is one of the reasons why I have a boat hook. The boat hook allows me to come in and grab a hold of the dock, either the cleat or grab the dock or grab a tire and pull me in. I keep it, because I'm solo, I keep it standing up straight and uh, able to grab with my left hand and pull me in. Tip number seven, use the mid cleat line to guide the boat back onto the trailer. So you've already docked, you've already cleated up, you've uh, went to the parking lot, picked up your vehicle and the trailer, you've backed it down into the water to the proper height. Now you walk back over, un, uh, undo the mid cleat line, bring it up, string it through the bow cleat, and then just walk it up to the trailer. Note that bow damage, slow as pro. Tip number eight, my very last one. Learn your knots. Learn the cleat hitch as your basic knot. There's a lot of videos out there. I put together a little one because I, it took me some time to learn how to do it actually out on the water. I could do it all day long looking at it on my little thing here that I made. But when I got out on the water, it was a different story because the cleat was turned to the side and it was just kind of throwing me. Anyway, learn your knots. Learn the cleat hitch and then after that, learn the bowling.